Hi, Tony Sweet here. Let's have a quick look at Nick's brand new and phenomenal iPad app called Snapseed. There's the icon. We click on that. The window opens up. You can then go in. This is pre-selected, but the open image on the left side over here goes to your photo albums, etc. Then you pick what you want to work on. You have two banks of filters. One are your bread and butter apps, for example, not apps, but automatic, selective adjust, and tune image, etc. Straighten and crop. These are like global type of uh, you know, more bread and butter adjustments. But they all work like this. Selective adjust is the control point option, and you pick the add, and then drop in a control point. And then click on the image, and move up and down. The point can affect saturation now, or it can affect contrast, or it can affect brightness. After you pick the one you want to work with, click on the image again, and then move left to right rather than up and down. As you can see, it gets very, very dark under the car. See it? That's what that does. But let's go somewhere else. Let's go over, let's hit the back button and go to the creative filters here. Black and white, vintage, drama, grunge, center focus, and frames. Fantastic. Click on black and white. You have your options where it says style. You can pick a style. Whatever you want to start with. It's pretty cool. I can select that. I can also say undo if I don't like it. When you get back to these two, this box right here, that means you've undone as far as you can. So I hit apply. At this point, if you hit revert, it goes back to where you started, all the way to the beginning. That's where we started. Now vintage is great, but, but they're all about the same. They all work the same. You click on style. It comes in at default as Vintage Style 1, Vintage 3. Just pick one that you like. I like 3. Let's look at 5. 3 is kind of nice. And then the texture. Click on that. But then if you click on the image itself and then scroll up and down, you have center size, which is basically as you move, you pinch. It comes in here. And you can change that by moving laterally. I like it dark like this here. And then textures. It applies different textures as you click on that. Pretty cool stuff. I can compare my original to that. So it shows you what you did. That's the basic idea. We'll apply that. I haven't saved it yet, but it applies. And I can go back now and go to say grunge and there's a default look. I can open that up with the, the reverse pinch by spreading my fingers a bit. And again, clicking the image and scrolling up and down. Style, moving back and forth, change the, change the image radically as you scroll. And you can stop wherever you want to stop. There are 1,500 styles. I wouldn't go through all of them every time, but it gives you an idea. And then again, click and go up and down. Brightness, bit brighter, bit darker. Click again, up and down. Contrast, more contrast, less contrast. Click. Texture strength, I'll put that at 100% to see what we have. And then I'll dial that back just a bit. Something like that. Click again, up and down. Saturation. We can juice it up, we can juice it back. I like the red to come out. So we're going to go about here. And that's the idea. Apply. And save. you got to get in there and play around with the center focus and the frame, which are very cool. Let's do a quick frames here, just to finish that up. That's what it gives you. Quite basically, click up and down, frame width, you move side to side. You can come in further, further out, click again, up and down, frame offset, brings the frame further in or out to the edge.
and there's your you, if you click on this frames thing here it just changes to all the various frame options that they have there's no there's, there's a lot of selections so you just click through them see what you like and then again go to frame offset to bring it in a bit and go to frame width to bring it in that way and then we apply and then we save and that's the basic idea of Snapseed. You got to get in there and play around. Have fun.